everyone, this is Max Steingart, and welcome to another live YouTube broadcast. And uh, we're here to answer your questions and, and basically help you master what everybody calls the Max Method. Connect with perfect prospects, communicate with them, and close them. And, and the amazing thing is that you can use Facebook's new graph search feature, and, and it's going to make the whole process easier. It's something new on Facebook. Eric writes, is graph search working well? A while back he told us not to get it. Is everything working now? And Eric, it is. And you want it, and we're going to show you how to get it. All right, Mary, you sent me three chats. We're going to go over them tonight. And, uh, and Evelyn writes, Max, since I started working with you, I have four people looking at my opportunity this week. And I'm, in e I'm e meeting another lady next week in person to talk to in person. This is awesome. Evelyn, please do me a favor. Okay? What I'd like for you to do is copy that and send it to me on Facebook. Okay? Just copy that. Because while we're capturing this on film, I'd like to have a written record. So... In other words, the first message I got from you since I started working with you, four people looking at my business, meeting another person face to face. And now what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to come back six months from now when you're walking across the stage being recognized for major rank advancement in your business. We're going to be able to come right back and say, this is what Evelyn did at the end of March. Look how far you've come. Okay? So please do me a favor and uh, shoot that over to me on uh, Facebook. Send it to me as a message. All right, now, remember, it's a, it's a three-step process, folks. Three steps. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of outline it in my Endless Release program. Connect with people. Communicate with them close them. That's it. Connect, communicate, and close. And all you need to be making sales on a daily basis, all you need is a Facebook page, is a LinkedIn page. So, uh, first, for those of you that are uh, part of uh, Sandy and the uh, Holly's uh, huge Zango group, uh, the uh, the group training that we did for you um, the other night uh, has been recorded and it's been posted on uh, on YouTube. And so, if you go to youtube.com forward slash free leads, uh, we put it up, and we're going to be putting the best of our daily webinars because they're all different. Uh, how to make, how to take shortcuts to get the graph search feature. And during this session, we went over the three faces of social media experts. Uh, we're we're dedicated to making this YouTube channel a tremendous resource for all of you. And I just want to tell you that the landscape is changing. So let me run over here and let me go to facebook.com forward slash about graph search. All right? Because you want it. You want it. And what you can do is, let me just bring that up, okay? Facebook, 1 billion users, graph search is going to make it easier. Now, uh, I, I, I just kind of threw this in there, but this was the example that I was talking about earlier. I was doing a, a training session, and uh, I mean, I had, I think we both had a blast with this. Because after helping Dave get his page set up, 
If they're helping him get his pay sent up, we made one post. We posted a joke. And he heard from both of these people. And he couldn't believe how fast it was. He could not believe how fast the whole process was. All right? So let's get back to... Um, Graph search. Actually, what I have to do is I, you know, before we get we before we get over to graph search, you know, I love success stories. Uh, not because it feeds, you know, I, I'm not I'm not sharing these with you to try to impress you. What what I what I do is I, every one of these people is different. Every one of them has different backgrounds. The thing is, they're all doing some very, very simple things. And once you learn how to do it, you're going to absolutely be blown away at how effective it is. Solomon just started in March. And uh, on the second, he writes, I can get a person talking and interested in my website in as little as seven minutes now. Signed up two people last night. And then on Tuesday, he sent me this. Hey, your scripts gave me a real boost in my progress. I added seven associates to my downline in the last three weeks and I just became a manager. Again, you're all heading down the same road. There are dozens of new Facebook changes taking place. The big one that is just going to take your business to a whole new level because it's going to make it easier for you to find perfect prospects for your business. The graph search. Go to facebook.com forward. Well, let me, I'm going to fast forward past this. Facebook.com forward slash about forward slash graph search. Get it. And you can, if you scroll down to the bottom of that page and like it, then you might get it quicker. But you are going to love it. Because you can search for people by keyword and then filter your searches down further by gender by relationship, by location. You can even do it by age. And then it's a simple matter of reaching out to people that you want to know and sending them a message. Now, Facebook is, is making lots of changes. And when you contact someone you don't know, you might get a message like, hey, you aren't connected to Dan. So your message will go into his other folder, but you, you can get his message into his inbox for five bucks. And I assure you, you don't have to pay that. And I've seen five dollars, four ninety-eight. Uh, the biggest one I saw was six. Or send this message to his other folder. Or maybe it'll be a, a one dollar thing. But folks, when you follow some simple guidelines, you'll always get your message to the right folder. You aren't connected to door, so your message will be filtered to our other fo folder. Doesn't have to happen. So look for the sign in. Get it. And then turn it on because it's really got great stuff. Okay. Now, um, Dana writes, Max, I totally understand all the questions I should be asking based on your scripts. Where I struggle is when they ask about me. How do I share without being much, without being too much too soon? And, and Dana, um, and, or without being evasive. And, and Dana, we've really got you covered there. We really have you covered. If you look... Okay, Evelyn, thank you very much for that. That's great. And, uh, you know, Ev Evelyn and I just started working together in coaching, too. Um, okay, l l l let's get back and look at... Um, not being evasive. 
Now I'm going to refer you first over to Endless Free Leads. And, and Mary, I'm going to show you why I like the graph search. Refer you over to Endless Free Leads. Now, if, right now, you have 6.0 that you're working with, so let me show you where it is over here. Go over here to Resources, Prospecting Scripts, and this is what you say, first contact, second contact, third contact. When somebody asks you what you do, when they ask you what you do, you don't have to say, well, I, you know, I, I, I'm a network marketer. I've been with this company for 18 years. It's a public company, and we do this and this and this and this and this. You just have to say, listen, I've got an Internet business. i got an Internet business that gives me the opportunity to stay at home and make money while I'm watching my kids grow up. Spake the benefit. And then ask them a question. How long have you been a teacher? Bring it right back on them. You answer their question, and then you ask them one. So then they come back and say, well, hey, really, an internet business, what do you sell? What's it all about? Or what's the name of your company? Well, if they, if they don't specifically ask you the name of your company, if they say, well, what, do you, what, you know, what kind of a business is it? What's it all about? Then you could answer their question. And again, you're not being evasive. You say, hey, I work with an international expanding company in the health and, and, and wellness industry. And... Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I, I, I've got a, people I work with all around the world. Uh, what did you do before you became a teacher? Bring the conversation back to them. And then if they come back and say, well, hey, what's the name of your company? And is this network marketing? Don't, don't be ashamed or afraid of it. Say, yeah, you know, yes, it is. Um, I'm working with a company called Zango. I'm working with a company called Isogenics. I'm working with a company called New Skin. What experience have you had with network marketing? Bring it back to them. All right. So Mary wants to know, why do you like graph search? Well, here's the reason, Mary. Because I'm, with graph search, I can go over here, and I could look for people by keyword, the keyword search. And I'm going to put in the word teacher. And I could say in Dallas, if I just wanted to specify Dallas, Texas. So here I've got a whole list of people that I could reach out to that are all teachers. And it seems like every time I, okay? But not only are they, but see, now what I can do is I could filter this down. There's more than a thousand teachers. So what I could do is I could say, you know what, show me all the teachers that are women. Because I'd rather talk to women than men. And it'll filter them away. Show me all of the, the teachers between the ages of 40 and 49. Or 30 and 39. Show me all of the teachers. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. That's why you are going to love it. You are absolutely going to love the new graph search feature because it, it enables you to filter further. All right? So now that being said, <clears throat> we got a couple of conversations here. Now, Communicating with people is where it's all about. So let's take a look. All right. So somebody sh shoots you a note and says, turn $5 into 100000 Free stuff. Okay? So you say, I'm glad you like my post. What do you do? Well, let's see who you're talking to. Your social media expert. Okay. I'm rich, bitch. Well, you know, 
God, I couldn't make this stuff up. I couldn't make this stuff up. Okay? So let's take a look at the conversation. I have a wholesale business that sells products to convenience stores. Okay? Now, remember what our questions are. What do you do? How long have you done it? And what did you do before? So you say, hey, how, how long have you been in the wholesale? How long have you been in the business? Ten years. Okay, now, remember what we said about the answers to your questions contain new questions? So Mary, you're, start, you're sticking to the scripts, but I have a wholesale business that sells products to convenience stores. Okay? Well, what do you do? I sell products. Maybe we want to know, well, what kind of products? I, I work at the post office. Not how long have you been at the post office, but what do you do at the post office? You want to get a clear idea in your head of what these people do. I have a wholesale business that sells products. What kind of products? Now, he's been selling this for 10 years. So, you now, the other thing is, notice, now here, what did you do before the business? Now, if you just pepper them with questions, you get, you know, are you recruiting me? You need to, you need to make a comment like, okay, 10 years. And he's not typing a lot here, is he? So, you know, you might have said, wow, 10 years is a long time. What did you do before you got before the business? And uh, so you don't answer. He says, "Are you recruiting me?" And you don't answer his question. He says, "What are you selling?" And, and he's so this is an instant message going on here. So you answered him back before he 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 finishes. Are you recruiting me for MLM? I don't do MLM. What are you doing for, resi for resi residual income? I'm not interested. Okay, I make $25,000 a month. You don't even make that in a month. I can teach you how to make money. You know, let, let, let this be a lesson. Let's go back to his page. I'm not even looking at the the information down here. I'm looking at about William. I'm rich, bitch. So you're talking to somebody. Is he calling you a bitch? Okay. And so he says, you know, I'm. Okay. See now, you, you, I don't do MLM. And instead of saying, well, what are you doing for residual income? What I would have said is, you know, I'm curious, what experience have you had with network marketing? What experience have you had with network marketing? Now, notice he's typing more here. I can teach you how to make money. And why aren't you building a network market? Well, we still don't know what he sells. I make $25,000 a month. We, we, we never found that back in the beginning. What he sells. <clears throat> All right. Now, this is going to be cute. Uh, Travis writes to Mary, Hey, I found your page at Max's webinar. I'd like to add you to my friends list. Okay. So we have students prospecting students. What do you do? Okay, so... <laughs> You, you, you know, look, when you're talking to somebody that knows me, okay, you can assume that they're a network marketer, that they're a direct seller. Okay, it, it, it's a pretty good assumption, especially if they bring it up here. I found you while while it's Max's one of Max's webinars. All right, now just because you're a student doesn't mean 
you're a successful network marketer. You, you, you're all studying to become successful network marketers. You know, some, some people aren't well connected in companies. Some people don't have support. I mean, uh, you know, in, in my prosperity retreat uh, last year, or uh, yeah, last year, 85% of the people, I'm sorry, 25% of the people in the retreat changed companies. But what I'm concerned about is your time. Okay, so you're talking to somebody that is obviously, obviously, a network marketer. That they want to say, hey, I, I, I work with, uh, with NewSkin. What, what company are you with? Okay, so he says, well, how did you connect? What do you do? Uh, how do you connect with Max? Look at this. Look at this. I mean, it, it, it's almost like I, I'm asking myself, are you people reading this? Are, are, are you reading this? I mean, the man just wrote to you and said, hey, take a look at my daily motivations that I forward. I hope you can thank, I hope you start your day. My regular job is buying airplanes. Okay? I also work with a company that allows me to travel. Hello? And now you're saying to him, be sure to watch for my daily motivations on Facebook? Okay, I, I mean, you got to pay attention. These words mean something. How did you connect to Max? You never mentioned that here. You've got to answer the question. And, and you know, Travis just as bad. Okay. So now, okay, so now you told them you're with Sissel. And, and Mary, I lose this. Whatever it is you're doing here, you, you know, you, you, Mary, lose this, okay? You, you know, uh, keep your focus on business. And when you ask somebody what attracted you to their company, get ready for a commercial. And, you know, so what we got an example here is we got two people. Uh, <laughs> how big is your list of prospects? My list over a billion. He's talking about Facebook. But do you know, do you know, did he tell you, you told him he's in Sissel, but you never asked him what company he's in? Mary, you're going to get this with practice, you're getting better, but you still need a lot of work. Okay, how are you doing? I'm on an expensive drug for, oh, okay, I'm still alive. You're gonna have to have you're gonna have to have this one in a coaching session, okay? Let's go back up to the top. <clears throat> Look at Sarah's conversation. What do you do? I'm currently unemployed, but I sell Avon. Okay, so this is a continuation of the conversation she sent earlier. <clears throat> currently unemployed. How long have you been doing Avon? And we wanted to know, how long have you been unemployed? How are you surviving financially? Now, you say, how long have you been unemployed? How are you making it financially now? I am employed as of tomorrow. LOL, I am disabled, so I'm getting disability. But I'm trying to get out of that rut. Now again, 
you know, we talk about you learning as quickly as you can, as quickly as you can, whether the person's a candidate for your business. Okay? She works at a grocery store. All right? Let, let, let me come up here and let me go into my folder and I'm going to pull up out of uh, uh, Gina. Okay? Let me pull up an example. Oops, I, I the wrong one. Let, let me give you an example of how it works. Okay? All right? <clears throat> now, it starts at the bottom. Now, we worked with uh, uh, Gina all through this. This, this was a, a conversation that progressed over boot camp. Okay? It started at the bottom. All right, so Gina and Kim are friends, and Kim responds to Gina's post. How do I make a fortune on the internet? Real estate is really tough right now. Now, who would you rather be talking to? That's what you want to ask yourself the question. Somebody that is disabled, somebody that's been unemployed. I'd be happy to tell you, why do you want to know? What do you do in the real estate field? How long have you been in real estate? Selling real estate for three years, and I did mortgages for 12. Prior to that, real estate is down, and I'm always up to making money. And now would be a good time with sales down. Okay, so we know what she does, how long she's done it, what she did before. Are you familiar with the network marketing industry? And she goes, not sure, Gina, fill me in. I'm ready to make some money. Real estate is down, and I need to be making some extra income. I've been in sales all my life. In the car business for six years, mortgage business 12, real estate for four. You look at the background. You look at the experience. And here, Gina kind of went over the hill a little bit. She says, every year companies like Mary Kay or Amway, and then she goes on to explain what they are, and she just needed... Mary Kay or Amway, and the woman comes back, heard of it, both also sold Mary Kay, made no money at it on the side, please fill me in. Now, she has two questions here. What was it that attracted you to the company, and why do you think you couldn't make money in Mary Kay? The first question, if he has this question, and they're actively building the business, you're going to get a commercial. But she's not actively building the business, so she ignores the first questions and answers the second. No one wanted to be able to get the product for half price. So, would you be open to looking at another company that could supplement your income during these crazy times? And she goes, sure. This is one of those sure buts. Sure, but I have one friend in her office selling Pampered Chef, one selling Tupperware, one selling Southern Living, and none of them are doing any good. No one's having a party because our area's been hit with job laws. Our county is the highest in the state. I had a party in the last couple of weeks so they can try to get some bookings. No one booked a party. No one bought over a $20 item. And Gina was going, well, what do I say next? What do I say? And we came up with this. Your friends, Kim, your friends are Mr. Bo. Many people are making money in those businesses doing it on the net. No parties necessary. Was Mary Kay your only networking experience? What other companies did you try? You see, if you're in an impoverished area, well, you go on the internet, you build your business in another area. And she goes, yes, it has been. I was never on the net with Mary Kay. Show me how it's done and which is making the most money. Now, um, let me see if we have it posted. Uh, this is Gina, and this is Gina, and and she, uh, Gina went through a boot camp and signed up 11 people while she was in boot camp, 12 people the next month. 
but she signed up Kim over the 4th of July weekend and when she gives us a status report here the Kim she's mentioning because Kim got into her business and I think brought in 16 of her friends you know what your system the fact that I'm so excited about it and I'm able to utilize your system um, to help my team see success right off the bat but I, I have to share I mean I've got a gal Kim who who she signed I'm looking at my numbers she signed up 16 people Fred 11 Jean 8 Nancy 8 Tiffany 6 Ed 6 and these are all brand new people and because they're signing up these people. Now, of course, you know, they're all at different levels. You know, some of these people are customers. Some of them are, you know, you know, wholesale customers. Some of them are in the process of, of, of just getting their business off the ground. But these are all brand new people seeing success right off the bat. I haven't been able to teach anybody how to, you know, that many people how to see that, you know, that kind of success right off the bat their first month. I love it. get it as soon as you can. Now you're all moving down this road at your own pace. Everybody, everybody has the same access to people. You know, three weeks ago I was doing a training uh, in St. Louis and actually that reminds me uh, uh, Ross, uh, let, let me see if Ross is here. Okay, Ross is here. So, what, what I want to do is, is let me, you know, I, I met Ross. Ross was actually a student prior to um, meeting him in, in St. Louis. And uh, um, it was really a terrific event. Uh, the first day we spent about five hours going over uh, you know the whole process of networking on Facebook and uh, we talked about the wow factor and and uh, at the end of the first day I challenged everybody I offered a hundred dollars to anybody that would um, make a sale before nine o'clock the next morning four people did before the end of the day on Sunday three more people did but what I want to do is let me go back over to my mailbox because Ross what happened to you here it, it is really um, something that happens and uh, what happened was Ross you've been blocked for 14 days now if I if I'm not mistaken now why does this happen it hap this why does why do they block you and that's because numerous people have indicated that they've received friend requests from you when they don't know you. Facebook has made a new change. When people send you a friend request, if I was to come down here and let me confirm So let's say I want to confirm Yolanda, and I confirm it. And it says, Yolanda has nine friends. Help her find more. Now that's new. That's new. It wasn't like, do you know Yolanda or not? Let me scroll down a little further here. 
Sharon. We have two mutual friends. I click on that, and it's coming back, and it's saying, do you know Sharon outside of Facebook? Now you say, well, how come the, the other one is th they're recommending friends because she's only got two friends? But this is what happens. So do you know Sharon outside of Facebook? Now if people, if they say, no, I don't know Sharon, but I'm going to accept her as a friend, then Facebook's keeping track of that. So what you want to do is when some, when you send someone a note from now on and, and in our next session, Ross, I'll, 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 I'll show you how to do it. But basically, until then, just add to the bottom of that note, uh, or, or actually, you're shut down for 14 days, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you what to write in the future so that this won't happen. You have to add to your note. P.S. You know, uh, if Facebook should ask you if you know me, please say yes. Uh, or, or they'll slap me for contacting someone I don't know. And that's going to, we're going to build that into the letter. But let, let's see what, what happened here. Now this I thought was interesting because you got something extra that I hadn't seen before. Now, this is, so they're telling you, uh, this is the list they're telling me, and they're saying most people cancel pending friend requests for people they don't know too well to avoid being blocked again. Now, what you could do, now Jackie Almer is a network marketing trainer. Uh, you know, some of these people... Okay, Audrey. Hey, she works for me. Uh, the, the, the challenge that you have here, I mean, George Ruiz uh, would probably accept you as a friend. He's, uh, you know, a top income earner in uh, Isogenics, good friend. But see, if you don't know these people, and, and some of them, you know, George... Not so sure how often he answers that. So what you have to do is you have to make that list. Keep this list of people that you send friend requests to. And if Jackie Ulmer doesn't accept you as a friend, within 10 days, take the friend request back. But you've got 14 days. Uh, it'll never happen to you again, Ross. Now... You should only send friend requests to people that you have real-world connections with. But you see, there are people on Facebook who want to be and look forward to hearing. They want to be connected. They, they, they're on here to meet new people. And, and so this is starting, well, this is starting to look a lot more like um, LinkedIn. Uh, you can work within the confines of, of what fa what Facebook is all about. See, what we want to do is there's an, uh, several of these people are already my 25% are already connected. Um, well, we got plenty of time. In the meantime, Ross, how many friends do you have on your list right now? How many friends do you have? What's your total number of Facebook friends? 400. So you're, you're, you're going to be fine. Okay? You've got enough friends. All we have to do is focus on posting. Focus on posting. And focus on the people who are responding to your posts. And these two weeks are going to go by without any, any difficulty. All right, let me look at the question box. Okay, uh, again, some quick announcements. Uh, our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash free leads, uh, ha have some 
absolute great training. You, you know, you're all heading down the same road. And, and frankly, it's really just a matter of how fast you want to go. Okay, I love success stories. I really do. And um, um, if there's anybody that I just finished up uh, with coaching uh, two people today. So I'm going to have two openings in my coaching schedule. And I have to tell you something. What I enjoy the most about personal coaching is that I get to actually log into your account. I, I get to see at the grassroots level whether you're just starting uh, to get a page up or whether you are you've been an old hand on Facebook for years. You know, Dave Angelo was an old hand on Facebook. And the first 10 days, we started working together. We signed up one person every day. One person every day. When I started working with Dave, he was number six in his company. He's on his way to being number one. On his way to being number one. You're all heading down the same road. You all have the same wonderful access people. Okay, so Dave, you got a you got a one week suspension, now you got a two week. You will never get suspended again, I promise you. I promise you, you'll never get suspended again. Let me talk about your whoops, I think I did the wrong one. Yeah, I did have to do the wrong one. I want to remind everybody we're going to have a big we're going to have a, a big webinar on Saturday uh, announcing the um, the release of um, Endless Free Leads 7.0 and uh, uh, let me zip over here and kind of give you a little look everything that here is designed to be watched on an Android or a smartphone. Now they're still putting the pieces together. Once you have a Facebook page, you connect with people, you communicate with them, and you close them. It's that simple. It's like walking into a room and knowing in advance who your perfect prospects are. The video library here will take you on a visual tour of everything that you need to know to be successful. Short subject specific videos. If you have a subject spe a specific subject in mind, how do I search for people? Brings up all of I mean the, the brings up all of the videos on that specific subject. Your resources, prospecting scripts, questions. Everything that you need. It's coming out on Saturday. Now, the difference between my endless release program and boot camp is that in boot camp we work together. And for those of you that are new, for those of you for here for the first time, we released a, a special combination package that'll save you five hundred and seventy-seven dollars. The, the math here is wrong. Save five seventy-seven. And in boot camp, what we're going to do is you're going to work with me. Over the next 
three weeks and I'm going to help you close people. For those of you that are already students and you're in the current boot camp, if you want to participate in the next one, just go to maxdongart.com forward slash alumni. This is the most economical way for you to get coaching with me. It's group coaching. We're not doing private things, but it still gives you an opportunity to get here and ask me questions. During boot camp, I'll help you make five sales. Now, this is my favorite thing to do, and if there's anybody that's interested in coaching, uh, type coaching and your phone number into the box. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not showing this to you to impress you, but just to kind of impress upon you the kind of activity you can be having. I mean, and you know, the thing is, <clears throat> we can go in here and I could bring up Andy Van Dyke and show you line by line, step by step, all of the things, all of the things that she did. I mean, Andy borrowed the coaching fee from her father, took a part time job translating, and today, is a self-sufficient, very successful network marketer living in ha living in Amsterdam and building her business anywhere in the world. Anybody else have any questions? So these are the different packages that are available. Uh, Endless Free Lead 7.0, go to maxsteingart.com forward slash upgrade. This is the pre-launch price. For those of you that want to work with me in a group format, go to boot camp, but your best deal is the combo. Your best deal is the combo. For those of you that are alumni, already been in a previous boot camp, or you're in the current boot camp and you want to take the next one, go to maxsteingart.com forward slash alumni BC. And then I've got two coaching spots available. Go to maxsteingart.com forward slash coaching. Until next time, remember, if you're not talking to five to ten people a day about your business, you could be. And if you're talking to that many people on a daily basis, you should be closing one or two people. If you're not, you're either talking to the wrong people or you're saying the wrong things. Until next time, best of luck in building your business and God bless.